Hi, fire signs. Hey there. How you guys doing? Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see what's going on for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for you fire signs. Let's see what's going on. Um, feel free to swap around the characters. The timelines are fluid. Uh, not every single reading is going to resonate with every single person, so don't try to shoehorn yourself in. You know the difference when a reading resonates for you and when it confuses you. So that's basically the thing. And as always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Fire signs. What is happening? I'm feeling like this strong energy today for you guys. Very strong energy. Let's see where we go. <sighs> chill. Everyone just chill. Everyone just chill, man. Got this for the air sign. I know that's not surprising you. Um, wow. Okay. So that is a maze. I'm going to read a little bit about that. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do it so I can face you guys a little bit better. Um, wow. So cutting off a past situation, you could be ending or changing, changing a past situation. If something was private in the past or that you weren't really out in the open, this is not what I saw for this in the air sign reading at all. Um, now cutting, cutting that off, changing on a dime. This is changing quickly and it becoming something becoming more public. So if something was hidden before, now that relationship is coming out of the shadows. Amazing. Amazing. I know. Seriously. So um, that, that um, this Sith here, death energy, this is Scorpio energy, transforming from something that might have been confusing in the past. I like this card a lot. It's very much, it's now the card of public disclosure about a relationship. You guys are going public. More people are knowing about you. You're going out, you know, as a couple. It's really changed at the drop of a hat. Some of you could also be letting something go behind. So let, uh, letting something go. So let's see here. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Hermit Energy. Ten of Swords. Okay? Five of Swords. Okay, so something might be ending and it's very public. That was confusing. Five of Swords, Hierophant. Yes, Fire Sign. I feel like you're doing this for your own need or your own, um, um, what's the word here? Stability? Stability in your, uh, come on now. <laughs> Don't fall over, Mary Jo. Um, Wow. Hold on. Hold on. Four of Wands, Moon, Two of Pentacles. Okay, Two of Pentacles. That makes sense to me. So you had two choices. There were choices here to make. I feel like um, you could be dealing with this uh, Taurus or Virgo person. There's also Pisces here. I feel like you might have put an end to something with a water sign. I know I've seen this a bunch of times. Putting something to an end with a water sign and moving forward in a situation that makes you feel better, okay? You might have, um, you might have been offered something by a water sign and you um, saw that it wasn't gonna work for you, it was very confusing, okay? Whatever they were offering you wasn't really, uh, wasn't working for you. It needs to work for you in a lot of ways. And this person, it was not working for you. So you might have questioned them. You might have looked looked at it really more deeply and been like, no, nope, this isn't going to do it for me. Um, the person you're connected with here could, um, I feel like this is a situation where you kind of say no, or you kind of back off of it, or you move away from it. The other person gets really pissed about that. They're like, wait a second. What have, we, what have we been doing here? I've been doing the same thing all along. All of a sudden, you're just going to decide to move away from this, right? And, and you're like, yes, I'm doing this for my own mental health. i got to get away from this. This is not working for me. Um, I'm cutting something off very publicly. I feel like a secret comes out. A secret comes out, and that is what causes this break here. Um... A secret comes out. 
Queen of Cups, water sign. All right, a secret comes out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, some of you could have a, hold on. What's the secret here? More about the secret. Some of you are leaving a karmic energy behind. Okay, going more toward, okay, great. You are, by doing this, something has ended. Um, this could have been a marriage that was very toxic, very karmic energy here. You're definitely interested in something that's way better for you. Whatever's going to work for you. This was not working for you. You are moving towards something that's good. Okay, you're moving toward a new person. Could be an earth sign. You could be ending something with a water sign and moving toward an earth sign or vice versa. The secret could be that you were in love with somebody else. There was another person and that boom just ends the whole thing. This person is like, uh, yeah, that's not going to work for me. There's another person involved here. You're moving toward the other person. You could have just made a decision like, you know what? I'm going to only, I'm going to only move toward the relationship that is really working for me. That really feels grounded and, um, sustainable and something that is also fun and joyful and a lot of good stuff here. There's a lot of good stuff here right? Moving towards something that is tangible. Somebody, there could be, the water sign could have offered you something that was very, you couldn't, you couldn't pin it down. Okay. The person could have been acting very watery, right? We did a little tarot class last night with everybody. And when you see, um, uh, queen of cups or knight of cups or whatever, that person that you're dealing with doesn't have to be a cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could be in the energy of that, right? Too much feeling, too much watery stuff. Like that's not where you need the relationship to be. You need it to be more tangible. You need to build something. And this person was that you were are walking away from or cutting off was too not pin downable. All right. There was nothing about it that made you feel like, like if you said to your friends, yeah, I'm dating someone and they're like, really, you know, um, or what are you doing Friday night? And you're like, it's Thursday. And you're like, eh, I don't really know. Okay. And most the, the new relationship you're going into, if somebody asks you that, you're like, well, Friday night, this person's got, you know, plans. They have to do something like that. So I'm going to be doing this, but we're going to get together Saturday night. There's just more tangibility to this new thing. And so you're walking away and this person, whether they're actually manipulating you or not, they feel like you, um, they don't get this at all. They're like, what are you talking about? I just like to be kind of loosey goosey with my plans. I don't need to tell you everything. We're not married. All right. Or we, that's not what we do here. That's not this relationship. Well, you're like, yeah, but that's what I really want. I want somebody, I want to be in a relationship where there's no, I'm not having a lot of questions about like where we're going or what we're doing. Or if, if in fact you are going to text me later this evening or call me, the person you're going toward, Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, is more tangible, is more real, is a situation where you know what's going to be happening. Is there still mystery to it? Yes. Do you know if it's going to work out in the end? No. There's, this, there's still an unfolding of it. But this old situation was so like... I don't know, like, I didn't know when this person was going to call again. They never, they never did what they said, or they never said what they were going to do. And it just kind of left me in this place of, this is a, th this could have been an actual tactic of this other person. And they were trying to stay in control of the relationship by making you feel like you didn't really know what was going on. So you had no, you didn't even really know if you were a couple. You didn't even really know if you were dating. If someone said to you, what's the status of your relationship? If you had to choose like on Facebook where you're like married, dating, you know, it's the, it's complicated one. Okay. It's complicated. It's complicated is code for, I don't freaking know what we're doing here. In many cases, especially in this case, it's code for, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. So I feel like you could be, um, you could have another option here. Um, and I feel like you're going toward the more stable option. The one who is, Hey, I'll give you a call tomorrow. 
and they do. Hey, what are you doing this weekend on a Tuesday? What are you doing? Like Wednesday, they say, hey, what do you, what do you, what do you want to do this weekend? No games. The where you're going is, it's not the complicated version. It's the, I know exactly where we are in this relationship. I know what we're doing. I feel like an equal partner. I feel like um, I can call them up and say, hey, I got tickets to this really cool thing. And they're like, oh my God, that's really cool. I'd love to do that. Or, oh my God, I have plans. I'm so sorry that, you know, I didn't really know that you were going to do that. But there's a way of talking about it. The communication is the thing that this, this, the new relationship floats on. So I feel like you're cutting off an old thing that it's complicated and you're moving towards something where you're like, yeah, I know exactly where we are. You know, we're dating. We're not really committed yet, but we talk every day. This is usually what we do. You know, we usually hang out either on a Friday or Saturday night. It's hardly ever both, but it's also never not one of those, right? It's either or. It's a Friday or a Saturday. It could be both sometimes, but it's never not one of those, right? This is the, the conversation. You know what I'm talking about. This new thing you're moving toward is much more tangible. I like this, okay? Um, the secret here coming out, we're going to get, we're going to need to um, talk more about a secret here that was between the two of you. We'll get into that in the extended. So the link is below for you. We'll see where we go with this. I want to see where you're going. I don't really care where you've been other than the fact that it showed up in this reading for a reason. So there is a reason to look at it. So, okay. So that's where we're going. <laughs> link is below for you. I'll see you over there. <laughs>